Hello, my dear. Now I bring you one more type of talk from Lesu Chassis with the Kevin Benz and I put a lot of lights and decorations this uh, equipment, equipment box and other decorations we will see and uh, let's put the battery started here this box open it I put the battery it is alloy quite thick one put the battery inside and I can put a big one there also I, this one enough to play okay then put the wire there and lock the door just push Okay, ready. And uh, let's see the light. Ah, this light already on. Switch it off. Turn it around. Let's first see the light. First one. Uh -huh, let's see from the radio. This one. One light. Another one. Off. And go to right side. Flashing. Off and uh, left hold the so flash and changing and hold another type and hold will switch off. Go to the right side, hold so flashing warning and hold will off. Okay, let's switch it around. This okay, and have other light from the top. This on top have the warning light. And strangely, this should be the electric board problem. They are not in the same phase. It's strange. It's not normal. I should change the board later. And uh, for for this one, uh, normally it's the same phase, but uh, this one is special. Huh? The board maybe have problem. And let's. Change it to see how different mode. Okay, the top warning light, and now we see this front headlight. Uh -huh. and change flashing, quick flashing, and wait. Have another change off. We will switch on and keep slow flashing. Is it slow flashing? Okay, let's see the turning signal. Like a hop. And you start. Turn around, let's see the rear side light. Front axle. So I should adjust a little bit this one 
turning angle less than the front axle because now when I turn you see it's a little bit driving sideways so if I adjust this turning angle more turning more and the second axle turning less the turning angle circle for the turning will be smaller so this turning angle need to adjust the letter this can be done by the connecting of the servo the rock arm can adjust it for the turning angle From the front, the cabin, we see the door, here's a light fence, front tooling, this one you can take out, put the tooling inside, this is the pin, okay, so downside have this protection plate, it is plastic, same as cabin, so the, all these cabin parts, it is all plastic, on top got this like a horn actually it's the only decoration and this side door the cabin door can be opened so after open you can see inside this one got no window glass you can open by hand directly so see inside the wheel this one cannot turn it's all fixed decoration parts inside okay so when opening and close you need to hold the door a little bit so can be closed and open fully. Also right side cabin door can be opened. Pull and pull a little bit to open it. Okay. And from the side you can see this one the exhaust pipe. Let's close the door. Hold a little bit. Push. Side mirror. Okay, let's see. The back side, this equipment box, we got so many decorations. Uh, anyway, the air bottle, urine bottle, something, water bottle. This one actually is all metal one. Here, this one, got one box. Uh, this one cannot open. So, it is only decoration, not a real one. You can put holes or something. No. <laughs> only this one you can open to put the battery. Here yeah, the wires decoration. This is one stainless plate for people to stand on it. And let's see the side. So this side is a box, metal one, can be open to put something inside. It is magnetic locked. And the downside got the metal protection plate. See the top for this one. Here got the tips seat. Pull it out, the trailer come in, push, and it will be locked. Okay, that's the tooling. And the rear side, we got the light, and also uh, one more tooling. Can be pulled up directly, very easy, pull up. And uh, put inside the tooling, and to lock it. See this one, the tooling, retaining with spring. Okay, and this side we got another box. Here, this one 
Open it. Aus Mega Knight Metal Box. Lock it. Plastic one urine box. So let's see the chassis. And uh, this cabin we can open. So we put the battery inside the box, not opening the cabin for, for the battery. Actually, we have the motor on there and the sound light board, these wires, receiver, and the ESC power switch, ESC on there. It is under the plate, and the, these are the light wires. So we have the speaker on top of the cabin. Actually, this top of the cabin, we can open it. Let's see. It is secured by magnet pull hub and have wires slowly. You will see these are the light. Here, I got two speakers. These are the magnet to hold. This is a small light board. Okay, let's put it back. Sit in position. So now let's see the. Yeah, from top also we cannot see the transmission gearbox. We have to see from bottom. Because it, here is only a little. There is the transmission gearbox. Here is the motor brushed one. It is all the, all the metal chassis it is from this two. Okay, lock it. Actually, from here we can see a little bit of the servo for transmission gearbox changing speed. You see there. Now it is low speed position. You can change low, middle, high speed, low, middle, high. Uh, low speed position, low, middle, high speed. Okay, change it back. Let's see the bottom. Okay. By this side, we can lift up and see the chassis. It's so black for the chassis. We will need one more light. Let's hold it. Here you will see the chassis. So we got. Four axle front to up for the steering. As we said, this axle for the steering we need to adjust a little bit. Where we can adjust is from the connecting rod to pinning. It is down there, you see there. That's the connecting rod for pinning. We need to adjust, uh, change the hole for the rock arm so we can switch change less turning angle for the front through axle, this one. This turning angle is bigger than the front one. need to adjust the turning angle to be less than the front one. So making the turning, not making side while walking, can be turning less, uh, less, uh, less angle circle. Okay, let's show you a little bit for the turning angle. You see, so. That's what I mean, the second of axle, the front two axle is turning more than the front one. Okay, can be done, adjust later. And uh, so the turning servo, it is here. Let's see, downside is the red one. The connecting road, and the connecting through, in the middle is the connecting road for the second axle. And this blue servo, you see, got here, connecting for Four wires. This one is for the differential lock. Now it is locked. Unlock. You can check here. Now it is unlocked. Let's drive it. Need to start the sound system to drive. So now it is see differential. Hold on the table. Differential. Let's lock it. See the wires changing. Lock, lock it. Okay, locked. Let's drive again. It will go. All the wheels turning together. Unlock. Yeah, it's unlocked. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, here is the speed changing servo. Let's move it. 
low speed position, middle speed position, high speed position. Okay, put to low speed. So the transmission gearbox coming with this transfer cast to transfer the power to the front and to the rear. Okay, so the rear side got the CVD all connected from axle to axle, so all the axle from the top got the gears to transfer the power to the rear one. And for the suspension, you can see from here, we got the connecting rod and the metal spring plate, metal one on top. And on top, we got the V-type connecting rod for the two axle. One connecting on top, all connecting on top of the axle to the chassis girder. Okay, that's the chassis. So we can drive it a little bit more to see it. Thank you, we will see each other.